so by now all of you are aware that Woodmore are the all in expert when it comes to spare parts and the best point is that they have the spare parts for all vehicles available in India so even if your car is out of production now maybe you have a large generation model even then they have the spare part available they have the entire catalog and the best point is that uh, they have the same spare part from a host of different component makers which gives you great flexibility in the pricing overall so check them out today check out the app it's available both for iOS as well as Android devices and also check out the website for the latest schemes as well as offers here is the all new Maruti Suzuki Brezza it's no longer called the Vitara Brezza it's only the Brezza now and I'm sure that you all are aware that it's in a very competitive segment it's in the compact SUV segment a segment which it has ruled for the last uh, five or six years and uh, there are more than seven and a half lakh Brezzas out there on the road just shows you the customer's confidence with the number one SUV in the Indian market at the moment and uh, this one should take the giveaway and this one should take the game further away from its rivals because this offers you more features, more premium interiors, uh, an automatic gearbox which is a six-speed unit now and of course very plus ride but let's quickly show you the exterior bits. The front end is heavily sculpted, it's over sculpted I would say. Lots of elements on the front end, big grill with a lot of chrome on top of it, uh, the lower part of the bumper is all black and then there's this grey so it looks very busy very uh, you know designed a lot of sculptures in it the fog lamps as well and projector headlamps in the top of the line ZXi version the ZXi plus that we're driving today the side profile has very boxy and very squared out wheel arches to make it look like a SUV uh, 16 inch wheels which are there in the previous version of the car as well but design of the alloys has changed now they again look very busy and uh, you know it seems like they've been heavily modified as well the side profile again gets a lot of black uh, cladding over here on the lower part and the top part because this is the ZXi plus dual tone version gets a white shade of paint the red cars that uh, are there in the fleet today have black so they look quite nice and sporty as well and of course roof rails which uh, make this car stand out from a sea of other SUVs a lot of uh, design elements on the side as well you again get this nice crease which goes all the way over here and the waistline of the car has been raised up slightly from the previous car the belt line the waistline whatever you want to call it has been raised up slightly uh, that's also another design change the back end just like the front end is very heavily designed uh, just like the front end you get squared out or rather uh, you get rectangular uh, lamps and multiple elements in them as well the Brezza logo the Suzuki badge and of course the number plate has been shifted over here it's no longer in the middle but over here and the lower part again lots of plastic black and then grey over here smart hybrid tech badging as well now it's a very square and boxy design which basically means uh, that this car has a lot of interior space the boxy design helps in relieving or releasing lots of space on the interior that's something you miss out on some other cars in this segment which other cars am I talking about you can let me know in the comments section below now let's quickly jump in and drive this car but before driving let's show you the interiors and what are the new changes on the inside as well well so the cabin of the Brezza is actually a nice place to be in and it's got an interesting mix of design uh, it looks very plush and very good the plastic quality well it's uh, pretty good on top over here and the saddle part here with the brown finish also feels quite good to hold uh, the lower part of the uh, dashboard also center console rather is quite good and it's pretty well bolted together as well there are no loose bits as you can see I'm applying a lot of pressure but even then it feels very nicely made so it's quite a uh, well made interior lots of features to talk about finally uh, you get a sunroof a lot of people have been asking about it and Maruti's finally given it on the Brezza so that's a very good touch uh, you also of course get a 9 inch touch screen and it's quite nice to operate uh, Apple CarPlay and Auto is part of the kit and uh, very easy to use lots of features lots of menus to go through and uh, the good point is that it's also pretty good in terms of the sound quality the earlier Brezza didn't have a great system from the uh, factory this of course is a top of the line ZXi plus version the earlier version didn't have such a great setup but this one the sound system is quite good and of course you get HUD display uh, which also is a very good touch and the only car in this segment to offer you an HUD display automatic climate control uh, cruise control automatic headlamps multiple airbags are part of the standard kit as is wireless charging for my mobile phone and at the moment you've got this setup because uh, we're using the uh, Google Maps but uh, you can charge your phone wirelessly as well seat comfort just like the last car is very good and you just feel nice and plush on these seats uh, Maruti Suzuki makes the best seats in the business and uh, the brother really has the best seats on 
any compact SUV. Yes, the Tata Nexo does come close, but this one definitely has the advantage over there. Uh, what you'll also like and what you'll also appreciate is the fact that this cabin uh, is very well laid out and uh, lots of information even in the digital display part over here of uh, the two dials. The two dials look nice and sporty, but the middle part has a lot of information. Let me just flick through the menus for you. So if you press this button here, you can see you can get the actual fuel efficiency, how much you've saved, uh, driving time, uh, how much have you been driving, the clock, and of course, uh, G-force meter. You also get the torque and power that the car is using, and acceleration braking, uh, and of course, this being uh, hybrid, mild hybrid tech, you also get this uh, to tell you how much the battery pack has been charged up and stuff like that or you can just turn it off so lots of information available over there as well and of course on this part on the right side uh, this is to adjust the direction of the HUD display so if you want it to move up or down all you do is simply press the HUD button here and then of course it will tell you the position that it is in to uh, you know maybe if you're a tall passenger or a short passenger depending uh, not passenger driver depending and of course you also get traction control which you can turn off and the best point is the 360 degree camera that you get on this car. There's something which really uh, makes it stand out from a sea of other SUVs, compact SUVs, because uh, this really is a very helpful touch for all of those who are driving the cars for the first time. So all positive inside the cabin. The only bit of negative is the fact that these buttons and switches have been around for a long time, part of the Maruti fleet of cars for a long time. Maybe they should redesign this part, but other than that, it's only nitpicking at the moment that I'm doing, but other than that, it really is a fantastic place to be in. Full marks to Maruti Suzuki engineers and designers for offering you such a plush, premium and high-end cabin with all the best features that uh, the industry has to offer. Now let's have in the back seat and see how good that really is. Well, so as soon as you step inside the Brezza's back seat, the first thing you'll appreciate is the fact that finally you get AC vents over here now. Uh, that's something which was missing and you also get a couple of charging points. Uh, one is USB type C, which is uh, very good for new age uh, phone users. And of course, the regular USB charger as well, uh, the charger socket rather. You also get uh, almost flat uh, floorboard here. There's a bit of a hum, but it's not too much. So whoever sitting has plenty of place to stretch his feet. It's also a generally wide car, so three people should easily fit into these seats and whoever sitting in the middle will have a lot of place to stretch his feet. Door pockets over here, rather seat pockets, not door pockets over here. And of course, four kgs uh, of maybe a curry hook over here where you can keep some odds and ends. Maybe uh, you're buying something from uh, the local vendors. Nice and large windows, although the belt line has been raised up slightly, but it's still quite good. And of course, a corner glass at the back so you don't feel claustrophobic and dark like you do inside the Tata Nexon. Uh, this one definitely has a little more air uh, inside the cabinet feels a little area and more brighter compared uh, <coughs> and of course you also get a quarter glass window at the back over here which makes the cabin feel a lot more airy and roomier than it already is uh, and of course uh, grab handles over here as well really nice place to be the seat comfort generally is very good the backrest angle is absolutely spot on it's near to recline either to inclined and let me just show you one small thing over here attention detail and that is of course that if you want to remove these seats you can always put your belt over here so that the belt doesn't go and hide itself behind the seat when you're removing it this is a very neat touch and something which a lot of other people should learn from see the seat belt is ahead of the seat and not going inside on the hook so great attention detail you also get a armrest uh, which doesn't fall down and a couple of beverage holders over here decent amount of knee room uh, it's uh, more or less the same compared to the last car and more or less the same in terms of the headroom scooped out uh, roof lining over here so you do get plenty of place my height is 5'10 in case you've forgotten and you haven't watched my videos for a long time my height is still 5'10 and uh, even if the shop is 5'10 you'll have a decent amount of place front seats have been raised so plenty of place to stretch your feet and really you do get a nice and comfortable place to sit in and of course a great view from here of that big 9 inch uh, digital instrumentation and that instrument uh, and of course, a good view of that big 9-inch digital panel. Uh, it, it really looks... And of course, a good view from here of that 9-inch infotainment screen. It really does look nice. And uh, you get all the information there. I can see uh, the details of the vehicle as well from here. So a nice place to be. 9 out of 10 to the back seat of the Brezza. Let's see quickly how the boot is. And then we'll get to the driving bits. So quickly, let's have a look at the boot of the car and uh, show you how big it is. Now, if you look at it, uh, in terms of the shape and size, quite a decent shape and quite a decent size. In these corners, you can see you get a little place, a little box, a little tray, you can say, to keep your odds and ends. There's one over there as well. And of course, uh, you get a full-size spare wheel with this car. There's no 
cost cutting with a smaller wheel so you get a full size spare wheel as well a slight ledge very small ledge but you can easily heave in those big bags and those boxes without any issue whatsoever if your mother-in-law is coming from the hills and she's staying with you for a couple of weeks then i think this boot should be sufficient but of course if she decides to stay for an entire month then i think no car will be sufficient to keep her luggage in anyways enough of mother and jokes now let's start driving this car and tell you how the new brother is to drive well so here i am driving the new brezza now uh i have to say that this has always been a good car to drive and the new version is even better uh the best point about this car of course is the creamy uh petrol engine it's a same 1.5 and it makes 104 bhp uh, the ride quality seems to have been improved even further the earlier car had very good ride quality and this one uh, it seems to have gone a notch up uh, it just sticks to the road like a leash uh, it feels very confidence inspiring and definitely a lot more stable than your last girlfriend uh, we're on the highway right now we're driving outside chennai and uh, as you could have seen from the footage uh, we're driving on a very nice road but even then uh, it feels very flat in terms of the ride quality it feels very confidence inspiring and even when doing speeds of about 100 kph the car felt very stable and uh, really gave you a sense of stability uh even in the city when you're driving at slow city speeds and you have to maneuver over those potholes those badly passed up roads and some of those you know sharp crevices the car remains very comfortable i think now the preza is the best car in terms of overall ride comfort in this segment but maruti engineers uh, have done a very good job with the balance of the overall uh, suspension setup <coughs> but maruti engineers seems to have done a good but maruti engineers have done a good job with the overall balance of the suspension setup even though it is quite comfortable to uh, drive it's not at the cost of uh, its dynamic abilities it's still a good car in terms of the fun factor you can get some fun from it uh, it's agile and it's also very nimble and the reason for that of course is that the steering wheel is quite nice and light but despite being light it's very accurate very feelsome well but the ride comfort is not at the cost of uh, handling prowess yes this car feels very dynamic even in terms of the handling and maruti engineers have always been the masters of getting the balance right uh, in the ride comfort as well as the handling and agility department and this car feels light on its feet it feels very agile and uh, if you want to push it into corners it does really dive well into corners when you use this very accurate steering wheel it uh, really feels very communicative and very agile and all these things make it a good car for people who enjoy driving who like driving so it's a good car for people who call themselves keen drivers as well now the current version we're driving comes with a 6 speed uh, automatic gearbox yes the 4 speed unit is gone and now you got a 6 speed unit and i have to say that the extra two gears uh, compared to the older version definitely give the engine a lot of flexibility and that's a great thing for the highway use because when you're doing speeds in excess of 80 or 90 kph which are legal speeds on most highways uh, the engine is spinning at a relatively low 1500 1600 rpm and that makes uh, the cabin feel very quiet and very well isolated from everything outside uh, that's not all you also get pal shifters behind the steering wheel which is a very good touch and the gears really do change instantly when you hit the uh, pal shifter here and it's not just a gimmick it's not uh, something you know they put just for the sake of it it really does work very well there's no hang in the gear shifts and uh, this gearbox really is a fantastic unit i think it's one of the best automatic torque converter gearboxes out there around for this price point uh, what you'll also enjoy is the very peppy very punchy petrol engine it's only got 104 bhp compared to some other rivals who are turbocharged they have a little more power but the best part about this engine is that it doesn't feel laggy at all uh, performance is available right from the lower end of the torque pan and it's available right to its red line but uh, the best part about this engine is that uh, this engine feels very flexible it feels very relaxed and it also feels very enthusiastic to drive it really is a fantastic engine in terms of driving bits and uh, it's something that you'll truly appreciate when you take your car out on the long distance journey Well, so the big question is that should you buy the new Brezza in the market for a compact SUV? And I have to say that the only answer for that is yes, yes, and yes. And the reason for that is that this is the best car in its segment for sheer ride comfort, for sheer refinement of a petrol engine, 
for sheer features as well as for space inside the cabin. And being a Maruti also means that you get excellent service backup and you also get good resale values. So if you're in the market for a compact SUV, forget everything else out there and simply go ahead and buy the Brezza. The only thing it was missing till now was a six-speed auto and some features. And now this car has everything in it that the last generation version was missing out on. My double thumb up to this car and a strong score of 94 out of 100. It's bye for now and thanks so much for watching.